I'm going to go through with you how to change a patient's dressing using what's called aseptic non-touch technique. We use this technique for all sterile procedures to make sure that we follow infection control guidelines. Okay. How do you do it? Before I start, I'm going to clean my hands with alcohol hand rub and put on disposable gloves and an apron. Then, I'll clean the trolley with some detergent wipes. I'll start from the point that's furthest from me to the nearest point. Once the trolley is clean, I'll take off my gloves and apron. I'll use alcohol hand rub to clean my hands. You can also use a small dressing tray if you prefer. You'll still need to clean the tray in the same way as the trolley. I see. The next thing I have to do is to check that all the equipment I need to do the dressing is sterile. I'll take a look at the packaging that the equipment is in to make sure it is intact and undamaged. Any sterilized items like forceps should have sterility indicators on the outside of their wrapping packs. The sterility indicators should have changed color to indicate the equipment is sterile and safe to use. Okay. Now I'll put everything I need to do the dressing on the bottom shelf of the clean dressing trolley. This will include a sterile dressing pack, sterile gloves, an ampoule of sterile saline to clean the wound, alcohol cleaning wipes, a clean wound dressing, alcohol hand rub and a disposable apron. Okay. I'll clean my hands with alcohol hand rub and put on the disposable apron. Then I start opening the sterile packs without touching them. I slide the contents of the packs onto the top of the trolley. Do you open them yet? Not yet. Because I've touched the outside of the packs which aren't sterile, I need to sanitize my hands again with alcohol rub. The first thing is to open the sterile field by just touching the corners of the paper. Then I'll tip the contents of the sterile packs gently onto the center of the sterile field. Finally, I'll use the alcohol wipe to clean the outside of the saline solution for 30 seconds and allow it to air dry for 30 seconds. Can you start doing the dressing now? No. I need to sanitize my hands again and put on sterile gloves. I'll drape the sterile field around the wound area. My right hand will be my clean hand and my left hand will be my dirty hand. With my clean hand I'll dip a gauze swab in saline and wipe from the inside of the wound to the outer edge before moving the swab to my dirty hand. It's important to only use the swab once and avoid wiping back and forth so you don't contaminate the wound. I think I understand how to do it now. 